Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Thursday, August the 6th, and it's 8.46 a.m. Well, I was going through my email, and I thank you all for decreasing your amount of how many you're sending me, because now I can actually go through them and decide which ones to share. Now, I wasn't I didn't really want to share this one because I feel like it's more fear porn. But he said this illness has been coming around every two years since 2014. Now, I don't know that if that's true or not. I never heard of this. Um, it, this is Paul Begley. Okay. And I'm going to let you listen to him tell it for a little bit. And then I want to say my little bit. And then that'll be it. <laughs> All right, here. Here he goes. Are you serious, guys? We're getting ready to have an outbreak of a life-threatening nervous system condition, mostly affects children. It's expected to hit late in 2020, and like the coronavirus, patients require intensive care and ventilator support. I'm going to tell you all about this in just a moment as this is ventilator support now we're going to skip past his commercial for turmeric which i do take and i really think it has helped me so it is a good product but you don't have to buy his who knows how much that is but anyway i'm trying to get to where i think it was here here's what's going on right now uh outbreak of life Threatening nervous system condition, mostly affecting children. I repeat, mostly affecting children. It's expected to hit late in the fall uh, of this 2020. And like the coronavirus, patients will require intensive care and ventilator support. This is expected to be another outbreak year for this very rare, serious neurologic condition. Matter of fact, because spikes in confirmed cases of the acute uh, flas uh, flaccid myelitis, or AFM, it have occurred in the United States every two years since 2014. They're expecting it to hit again. Acu acute flaccid myelitis just started in 2014, happens so far every two years. Hmm, acute flaccid myelitis. That's where the muscles just give out. And you can't use your arms or your legs because they're just too tired to even raise them. Methinks that might be another side effect of yet all those multiple, multiple things that they're giving babies since birth and have to have to get into public school what do you think it just so happens they have to be on a ventilator 25% of them well praise the Lord I think it is in my honest opinion, based on all the things that are happening, based on all the prophecies that are coming out, those babies won't even be here. Our Lord has got to come and take our children out of here, along with the Harvest Army. Those of us who are found ready to escape all these things that are to come to pass, like this falls new mutation of the virus or whatever they're going to call it they're already locking down new york as i reported yesterday and places in australia if you refuse to get tested in australia and i think they're by okay i don't want to get the two mixed up i'm believing it was australia if you're traveling to Australia, you have to get the coronavirus. If you refuse it, they put you up in some kind of place. 
where you have to be quarantined for 14 days and and you get 30 minutes of sunshine every other day. Now, what a way to kill your immune system, especially if you didn't bother to pack your vitamin D or you don't get it. Because they surely they wouldn't take people's medicines away from them, would they? Anyway, I just wanted to share this with you and give my opinion on it. Outbreak of nervous system virus. AFM expected this fall. I don't believe it's a virus any more than the other is. But anyway, that's in my honest opinion. What is yours? Just leave your comments below the video. With that, I'll say bye for now. I'll be back again because there's lots of things posted up on my phone this morning. How about that? So I'm going to pick and choose and see which ones to share. All right. I'll be back later.